Cowboys friends, family, and friends of this channel. What's going on? It's your boy Foots the King. I'm here doing a quick video. Could the Cowboys draft the speedster from the University of Washington, John Ross? First and foremost, guys, thank you for watching this visual, this video, whatever you want to call it. It's your boy Foots the King, drummer, producer. I do all those things. This is just me thinking. Um, I got caught up in the combine again today, watched the D, um, the defensive side, and it was D linemen and linebackers. They did an excellent job today. I'm going to do a full breakdown on defense after the DBs are done on Monday. And so I'm going to do the winners from that. And then I'm going to do like one more mock draft, a post-combine mock draft for the Cowboys. And then I'll do a full mock draft, just one round for the NFL. Then I'm going to do like one more after that. Then there's going to be draft season. And after we draft, till we draft, I'm going to do player breakdowns, how I think we did, and I'll hit all that. And like I said, I will always be able to live with the fact that I knew that Dak Prescott would be a player. Go, I will always say this, y'all. I can hang my hat on this. I don't care what nobody out there says. Go watch my video the day we drafted Dak Prescott before any of this happened. I knew he was going to be something. But anyway, quick video. Could the Cowboys draft the speedster from Washington, John Ross? Well, <sighs> yes. Now, that's not a yes to say that they will or that it's a, a dire need. Receiver isn't a dire need. Have Terrence Williams. Don't know what we're going to do with Terrence Williams. Um, he is a free agent. Um, Lucky Whitehead didn't give us much as a receiver, and obviously no, we know what it is with Dez Bryant, and we know what it is with Cole Beasley in our slot. Bryce Butler flashed, although he was at times very inconsistent. Now, you're looking at what John Ross did versus what Corey Davis and Mike Williams didn't do. Well, Mike Williams didn't help himself. I don't know if he hurt himself, but his 40 time wasn't great. And then you're thinking about Corey Davis wasn't even able to, Corey Davis, the Michigan, um, the Western Michigan receiver, wasn't even able to work out. And you can't think he wasn't able to work out and he won't, we won't have numbers on him until, you know, way before the draft, like right before the draft in April. So, did, you know, and the consensus is those two are the top two. Mike Williams, Clemson wide receiver, and Corey Davis, Western Michigan wide receiver. Those are the top two. I'm not mad at that. Uh, I like both on tape. Um, some may question Corey Davis's level of competition, although in a bowl game against Wisconsin, he played very well. But nonetheless, could the Cowboys draft John Ross? Yes, they could. What would this do if the Cowboys did draft John Ross? Well... You know, I've always said I hate one-trick ponies. With that being said, they make a living in this league. Look at Deshaun Jackson. Um, I always thought Deshaun Jackson was a hype deal until I always realized that he's always behind safeties. Why is that? Because on play action or on go routes, if you take one false step, Deshaun Jackson will beat you. He will run past you, and he's so far ahead of you that he's literally walking in the end zone. His speed is that potent. Well, you look at John Ross, and it's not that this 4-2-2 doesn't show up on tape. It does. Um, has a bunch of big catches. He basically was Washington's office. Now, when they played Alabama in the bowl game, he didn't have a good game. And that's because Alabama has pros all over the field, and Nick Saban knows exactly what to do. Bracket coverage him, you know, play man, get physical with him, and, you know, and, 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 Washington was just overmatched. But other than that, John Wa John Ross had a great year. So it's not like he just went to the combine and he's just some track guy. He shows a lot of receiver traits. Well, what could this do for the Cowboys? If you know, this year we were a great rushing team. And we were a great rushing team against a lot of eight-man fronts, nine-man fronts. Safety's creeping up. You know, a lot of run blitzing. A lot of just, you look at the Giants, they basically had Landon Collins in the box the whole game. Now, Landon Collins is able to cover, but again, if you have a speedster like a John Ross, if you have somebody who could just make you think because one false step, it's a touchdown. You, he could, trust me, he could get behind the defense. Now, 
what would that look like paired with Des Bryant? Well, now that safety, both safeties have to honor that. Des Bryant can get a bunch of things underneath. And I think Des Bryant still has about two to three more years at his top level, prayerfully. But again, he's somebody who's always hurt, so you never know. Now, let's say, for example, here's another scenario. See, all I'm doing is just giving these scenarios because I want Cowboys fans to think outside the box. Yes, I know Jerry Jones says we need a DN, but if Miles Garrett and Solomon Thomas go first five picks, all these other DNs, Barnett, Taco Charlton, um, the kid from Auburn, uh, Tack McKinley, everybody is going to get pushed up. Carl Lawson from Auburn, everybody is going to get pushed up. Even Derek Rivers may get pushed up. So what if we're wiped out? Do you want to trade a pick? I don't want to trade. The thing about sitting at 28 in the, in the way the Cowboys are and in, in the way that we've drafted lately, stay packed. Take best available. or take an, take, think, think outside the box. I think that with a player like John Ross or just a receiver, period, if the value is there, you don't reach for a DN. You don't want to do that. You don't want to even want to reach for a corner if you see the value is there. Again, he could open up things for Ezekiel Elliott. He could open up things for, um, he can open up things underneath. If you like the way that, uh, what's my boy's name from Seattle? Uh, big play, ah, oh, number 16. If you like the way that he plays, what's the kid? Tyler Lockett. If you like the way Tyler Lockett plays, Kansas State player, and he plays with Seattle on the way there, always, he's always just running past defenders, then you would like John Ross in the Dallas Cowboys uniform. Hey, I'm just getting you guys to think outside the box. I know we need a defensive end, Cowboys fans. I know we do. But I'm telling you now, the combine gets people overdrafted. Look at Zay Jones. Zay Jones, the ECU wide receiver. Fourth round pick before the combine. Nobody knew who he was. Went to the senior bowl, balled out. Went to the combine, ran a 4-4-6. He's going to be gone by the second round. Maybe get pushed up to the first. Carlos Henderson had a great combine. He's going to get pushed up. This is what happens in this draft process. John Ross just set a record. For that alone, he will get drafted in the first round. Trust me. Byron Jones set a record at the combine. We may have drafted Byron Jones because of that broad jump. So keep this in mind, Cowboys fans. Let me know what you guys think. Could the Cowboys draft John Ross? It's your boy, Fuster King. I'm out. Peace.